One of my favorite uses for these things, this little Mini Ego 190, this is a 1.0. You either use a 1.2 or a 1.0. But when you have a primer spot like this, and you need to put some a different shade on it, this little gun keeps it nice and small without the giant overspray. And then these spots will be easier to cover. So you can I you can also do this, right? So then you'll have the same. Right? You keep it small, keep it simple. That's why I have one of these handy at all times. They're available on the website. I have $47 off on them right now. Go check it out. Uh, I'll have the discount for let's say a week. All right. Hope you like it. Love it. What's up, Joe? Uh, it's a quick video. Well, let's hope it's quick. Laying down the wet bed. Mostly here. Doing two doors. So these are my blends. I had a mini jet, uh, my Ego 190 with some shade, right? To blend in that color, and that way I'll have the same color here that I do over there, okay? This, I mix it four to one, okay? There's wet bed T490, four to one, and I spray it with a 1.2, because I want it to be lay under nice, 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 okay? Got my activated face coat. Um, go check out the video before this one. I think it was painting with Gabriel number three where I'm doing a hood. And I tell you exactly the ratio of what I mix, how we mix it. I'm going to 15 PSI. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit just how to make the blend easy. So, you see that? You see what I'm doing there? I'm just letting the gun do the work. Just let the gun do the work. Thousands of dollars get put into the engineering of the spray guns so that it could spray a certain way. Now I boost it up to 25, 27, 27 PSI. Let the gun do the work. See that? Just tilt it a little bit this way. Let that overspray fall over there. This is just what works for me. So don't do anything I say. I'm just showing you how I do it for your entertainment purposes. Entertainment purposes, okay? That's it. Lower the pressure here. I know it's a little bit of a mess here. We're just gonna cover this. Unfortunately, I'm not getting paid for that, so we can't really fix it. But yeah, so I'll show you how that looks like after. Same thing over here. 15 PSI. You wanna move, you don't wanna go too slow. But you want even so Make sure you get your edges. I wanted to show you how I do my blends, but in this particular job, it's a little bit hard because I'm not blend. I wasn't blending the way that I wanted to show you, which is a roundabout kind of way and it works for me every single time 27 psi and we go a little bit slower to get that even coverage this color uh doesn't cover very well at all so i will be putting another coat on after i dry this i put the blowers on this to make sure it's dry. 
There's no moisture trapping, anything like that. But that's why I love activating the base. Because this way, we know that it's dry. And if you can sand it, you know that it's dry. Beauty. Okay, let's see if we got coverage. Uh, nope. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks covered. Nope. How about that? That's when these lights come in handy. You can see everything. Love it. And you know sometimes you just spray in there and then hope for the best, right? Maybe I'm the only one that does that from time to time. So, not perfect. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Now I can see. Beauty. See? Oh man, look at that. See right through it. Very important. Beautiful. Now I don't have to wonder if I got enough coverage on this. Because I know I do. Same here. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. You know, at first I thought these things were very gimmicky. I'm like, ah, what the hell? I don't need that. Then I used that, and then I was like, oh, turns out I do. You can get this at the website as well. So, these are the uh, Welcome 360 True Light. I'm gonna flash this off, and then I'm gonna put a uh, control coat. Right. PSI. I'm gonna put it on light. No wetness. That's it, baby. Woo. Beauty. EC five thirty, everything mixed accurately, one point two. Carbonio Evo 360, 30 PSI, the fluid tip all the way, all the way open. Then I pulled the trigger and I dialed it back in until I can feel the pressure, but basically all the way open. Fan, that's all the way open. So one turn and a bit uh, closed and then you go.
first coat, kind of fast, kind of easy. Probably about maybe eight inches away, six to eight inches away. 90% overlap, easy. Let that flash for 10 minutes. Put your watch on it. 10 minutes. Also very important, the temperature. Right now it's 75 degrees. Don't do it when it's super hot, okay? But if it's hot, use a slow reducer. I'm using a regular reducer, so normal, with regular hardener at ECR 85. So it's still at 30 PSI, and now I'm a little bit farther, just a tiny little bit farther, and I'm also going slower. I've already done the inside of them, so just showing you the outside. It's kind of hard to see anything when I'm doing the inside anyway, so I'm not going to waste your time. Flip them because you know I got a heavy trigger. it in the bake. I'm gonna bake this at 150 for 30 minutes. And there you have it. Little nib there, nothing crazy. I mixed uh, 30, 31 ounces. Still got a little bit left, not too much. So, anyways. I hope that's useful to someone. So you can see, looks good. Blend looks good. I'll do another video of showing you what the best way is to use in the gun to your advantage. Okay. Anyways, till next time. Oh, I used a darker, greener variant for this for those of you uh, PPG painters. It matches most of the time but always do sparrow cards.
Peace. Love you.